And we actually want to be joined now by someone, one of the people who actually wrote you one of those letters. Jesse Cordero will join us now here on Zoom to read the letter that she wrote to you. Uh, Jesse, what is it that you wanted to say to Thomas? Hey, Thomas, how are you? Can you see me? So, wow, how can I put the gratitude I have for you, your family, and what you give will grow into words? What started as an act of kindness for my husband, who was a friend of yours and a member of your saints family, grew into a multitude of blessings for my family that we still feel today. Chris was diagnosed with rare and aggressive cancer in 2015 at the age of 36. From being on one of our first visitors in the hospital to visits at our home, you've always lifted Chris's spirits. Although he fought this disease with everything he had, there came a time when we knew we were on borrowed time. He came to terms with the fear of death due to his strong faith, but he worried so much about his family and he was devastated about not having the time to make sure our kid's financial future was intact. After having a heart to heart with Chris Thomas about all his fears, it took you no more than 72 hours to put together a pull-up challenge to raise college funds for our kids. You raised an amazing amount for our kids' college fund. Chris passed away one week later Thomas, your act of kindness erased his biggest fear before he passed. Those 418 pull-ups instilled a pride in my kids that they carry today, knowing how loved his dad was. Those 418 pull-ups, Thomas, gave me one of my most proud moments during his entire cancer battle. When he called you over as the end of the hour approached and, and told you he was going to do the last 10 pull-ups, despite being in a wheelchair and extremely weak. When you and Chris embraced after he finished the last 10 pull-ups, I looked over to Lauren. We hugged, cried, and I told her, your husband is our hero. She looked back at me with tears in her eyes and she said, your husband is our hero. I'll carry that moment forever with me. Thank you for continuing to be a part of our family's lives years later. Even FaceTime and the kids on Chris's birthday to remind them of how amazing their dad is. So what better way to grow what you gave us than to tell you, your wife, and your beautiful kids and fans how amazing a human being you are. We will always love you, Thomas, and thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you. So welcome. Lauren's here. Hi. We love you, Jesse. Hey, Lauren. Hey, it's Lauren. been one of the highlights of my career. To, it's been one of the highlights of my career to be a part of that. And um, <clears throat> what was really special about that event and so many others, just, um, you know, I was just the name and uh there were so many people that that loved you guys um that contributed to that and that was a shared um awesome experience by so many people um especially you know i think the majority of the funding came from people inside the saints building um that all wanted to uh help <clears throat> and i think that just kind of gave them a little nudge to all jump in and do this same thing together and it was just you know there's there's only a few pictures in my locker and uh, that one that you gave me after the funeral um uh, is sitting right there square just to always remember um and so you know i don't know what else to say but thank you thomas jesse thank you so much for taking a few minutes with us Thank you. It was my pleasure. And Thomas, I love you so much. And you touched so many lives more than you ever could imagine. Well, thank you. I love you too. And um, it's been, it's been, like I said, I'll look back on this whole week of outpouring from so many people 
with positive uh, memory, uh, no negative, um, no resentment or anything like that. It's just been an awesome, uh, sad, but awesome exit. I think it's safe to say the whole city wants the best for you. Morstead was the Saints punter for 12 years and was a rookie on the 2009 Super Bowl team. He says that he does want to keep playing, but says New Orleans is now his permanent home, and we're all grateful for that. Ooh.